The president find a meeting with the chief justice. Have the complaints by the president been addressed? Mm -hmm. That is the main question. Because the settlement they gave out yesterday was full of generalities. There was nothing specific we have um, uh, that, that you say that has been addressed in that statement. Yeah. Because if the issues of corruption, we don't negotiate on corruption. We don't say now, um, we've seen that um, Nick has been corrupt for the last few months, but uh, we won't talk to you. Now go and uh, try not to be too much corrupt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't negotiate on such, such a things. They, there's a, a laid down procedure of dealing with corrupt individuals, in, whether it's in the judiciary or in the executive or in parliament. Yeah. And so um, all the issues that they were, the, the, the statement after the meeting, the statement talked about, are issues that will have been dealt with in a, a, a more friendly meeting, in a more you know, because that meeting that they were going in, it was a meeting that had came because of the attacks by the executive on the judiciary. And, and of all the attacks that, um, of all the, the allegations that were um, uh, made at the judiciary, there was no single one that um, uh, the statement after the, the meeting told us that this has been addressed. There is none. No. And, and, and uh, on, the, on this one, I think the judiciary of the board. Many people interpret this as having gone in uh, to get uh, some bribe of thought. You see, uh, no Kenyan will believe that uh, this is the meeting that this is the best meeting that the president would have gone to announce to them that he will be uh, facilitating them uh, with more funding and uh, uh, allow them get more vehicles, uh, more judges. Uh, I think that was the worst uh, 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 thing to agree on in such a meeting at such a time. Just picking off from where Muruto left, mm. you know the National Council for Administration of Justice is sort of a new thing. They meet every year. I have at least covered it in my career about every uh, for about seven years. That meeting is, uh, is held annually. I have covered it under Maraga. I have covered it under Kome, just as she came in, and um, it, it brings together all players in the criminal justice system. It's, cha it's chaired by the Chief Justice, has members of JSC, has the DCI, has um, the Inspector General of Police. So basically it's all arms that deal in the criminal justice system. So these 30 days where they're going to draft policies on how to deal with corruption, what we've always said on this show is that in Kenya, we do not have a shortage of laws. We have sufficient laws. The goodwill in implementing those laws is what is lacking. Mm. So even what will be drafted in these 30 days, what will be the unique thing? Remember, the whoever drafted that statement was very cheeky. While they say it was as an invitation from the judiciary and it was a meeting of all the three arms of government, the action points were basically targeting the judiciary. Mm -hmm. uh, besides, of course, dangling the carrots that are supposed to uh, sort of streamline um, the processes in the judiciary, this will be the second time they will be getting extra budget. Um, is it a case of, I have scratched your back. Mm -hmm. Now can you scratch, you know what of mine? Yeah. Is it such a case? And I think the judiciary will be now, has brought itself much more into the limelight maybe than it, than it did, even did when it decided to censure I mean, Asir Abdullahi because everyone now will be watching what uh, government related petition or case has been lodged, what decision has been given. And then I know Kenyans really, maybe we are not, we don't really trust the politicians. But even now, yesterday we had hoped Kome would have received um, reports of whoever judges, whatever judicial officer has been receiving a bribe. Who are these lawyers then also that are receiving bribes to, uh, to uh, injunct government and not, uh, not allow it to do its job? Uh, but if the deputy president or if the president has evidence I think one of things it is, it is unto them to bring it out because um, already um, the judicial officers well we don't want to, to say it's all clean of course uh, sources intimate that Kome admitted that there are bad elements in the, in, the, in the judiciary and of course she had initially stated that they have a number of cases that they're handling, there are some that they've dispensed to, there are those that are still being handled. Mm -hmm. But even so, even if there are bad elements, uh, uh, proclaiming the guilt of somebody else in a public rally without giving them the right to, to defend themselves, mm -hmm. already Justice Esther Minor to a section of the populace is, uh, is corrupt. Yeah. Until now, President Ruto, and, and I've said this before, uh, between the executive and the judiciary and parliament, the executive is the most corrupt arm of government. 
um, followed by parliament, uh, then by judiciary. They are all corrupt. Yes, yeah. just the same order. The executive is the most corrupt. Yeah. Then parliament, then uh, so for. And, and by now, I'm sure, I am sure that President William Ruto has policies on how to uh, fight corruption. Mm -hmm. I am sure of that. I am sure judiciary have policies of how to fight corruption. To go and then sit and say, we are giving you 30 days to go and, and, and look for policies on ways to fight corruption, that is Bangladesh, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I see. You haven't used that word since 1985. <laughs> You've been waiting. Come <laughs> on, Actually, it, is, it defeats the purpose of that meeting. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, for the president to have said consistently so, that he knows elements in the judiciary to, who are corrupt, elements who, or lawyers who use judges to stop what the government is willing to do. Mm -hmm. The right thing to have, would have been to uh, make that evidence go to the JSC and process of um, starting this with those judges to, to start because um, as of now, it's, it's as if you are negotiating on corruption. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are corrupt, but please, if you, if, you want me, if you want me to then rule on your behalf, give me that six judges. Mm -hmm. Is this basically the president saying, you know what, you people, opposition, you can say whatever you want to say, I'm, I'm going to do what I want to do. But that is, if, if he, he could manage to tell the judiciary that uh, I will not obey court orders, mm -hmm. what is opposition? Mm -hmm. they, can do, they, they can go do whatever they want to do. Something else, you know, for such a meeting, I expected that uh, we would not just get a statement at the end of it. I expected that uh, um, some, some some consensus of sort, yeah, yeah, some soundbite of sort. But the fact that that missed, and we were given this statement that we are not satisfied with on Twitter, uh, it tells you a lot about what exactly the agenda of this meeting was. So um, Raila may be saying what he's saying. He may be making sense to a lot of people out there. But this is an administration that has even told the courts on their face, I will defy court orders. Is that it wasn't just the Grand Mullah who was <laughs> censured, his entire associates. Mm -hmm. So it seems very personal. It seems like a personal war, and that's why Abuya says the, the bench sort of reacted in a very emotive way, and that is not how you would respond to everything, because um, there are so many people criticizing the judiciary, so would you now look for... Rengo, because he was representing Raila and has certain views on it, and say now, Rengo, and your law firm, go. Mm -hmm. I think there was a better way of handling it, in as much as, of course, uh, we've seen what Grand Mula writes, and sometimes, you know, the fact that you, same thing we just said, you accuse somebody and had, same thing is, is happening to him. He's also been condemned and had. And uh, if he had evidence of what he's talking about, the most corrupt, he, he really insults that bench a lot. And he's a senior counsel. What does he know that the rest of us don't know? Is he just also acting on emotions? He should have had the right to be heard. And let's wait and see whether the matter, although the East African Court of Justice 